Hey guys, it is Crystal Lopez from crystalandcup.com and Lenny Lopez. It's us. <laughs> How are you guys? All right, so it is Saturday afternoon. We've been trying to get out of the house all day and we're just now getting out and we are running to, we're going to do Hobby Lobby for sure because that's the parking lot we're in. We might do Home Goods is right down the way, just a few doors down. Um, and maybe even, maybe. Oh, there's Dollar Tree too. I think we're going to do Dollar Tree. I am looking for, um, I was going to say maybe Tuesday morning, but there's really, there's not a Tuesday morning over no, here anymore. No. It's kind of a bit of a haul. Anyway, we are looking for front door decor for the house. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, I've got all of my indoor decor for fall, but we're looking for front door fall decor. I have ideas in my mind of what I want. And I've got this guy. This is the thing about us. I have an idea. He makes it happen. And with that said, come on with us and let's go check it out. Look, everything. This is forty percent off. Let's see what we can find. these for Christmas time. Not what we're here for right now, but that is okay. However, the rest of this is for now. A hat for our Matthew who loves science. And NASA. I love this. I absolutely love that. And then all of this is going to be used. We're going to cut that. We, meaning he, <laughs> is going to cut that and put all of this inside there. Okay? All right. Let's check out. Oh, and we got this. This is 20 bucks. This uh, wood stand for a plant. Did we get good finds? Okay. Now we're going to head to Goodwill because I've got a few other things I want to find that I don't want to pay a lot of money for. Hey guys, it is Crystal here. And yesterday we went and did our shopping for um, the fall decor for the front door. We went to Hobby Lobby. We went to um, Goodwill as well. And I was so disappointed. They had nothing. And we got there at like 6.15, not knowing they apparently closed at, I guess, 6.30. I don't know. They were closing. Um, they had nothing. Then we ran into Dollar Tree. And um, the location of the Dollar Tree that we went to is a new location. So they must, they had nothing fall. Nothing. So I guess they're still working on putting stuff out or maybe they just don't have it. I don't know. Anyway, so the majority, 99.99% of what we're using on the front porch, well, actually I wouldn't say 99%, probably 80% of all of this is what we bought at Hobby Lobby yesterday. Every bit of it was on sale. Um, the other 15 to 20% is, 
thought I had a mosquito on me. The other 15 to 20% is stuff that we already had that I pulled out. Um, in our guest room, that's also my office, we have an under the stairs storage closet. And so that is where I store all of our themed or holiday focused um, home decor. So I pulled out the Thanksgiving stuff and pulled a few of the things to bring out here too. Well, let me show you just how cute this turned out. So this is a housewarming gift that we got our first Thanksgiving here. Actually, my stepdaughter's mom gave this to me for um, Thanksgiving. They were guests at our home uh, for Thanksgiving dinner and she brought that and I absolutely love it. And I've used it every year since on my front door. So that's the centerpiece there. This fall sign, I had the other side of it flipped around and yesterday flipped it to this side. Uh, the other side is a cream color that says, hey there, or how, I think it says hey there. So super cute to have it on this side that says hello fall. I bought this last year. So this is another piece that came out of the closet. Um, these are, I bought this pumpkin and this pumpkin at Sam's uh, last week. So those worked in perfectly here. Okay, this gorgeous thing is something that my husband put together for me. So I have a friend that was selling some of these pumpkin arrangements on Instagram. It's styrofoam, um, but I did not get one ordered. And my husband was like, I think I could make you one. I think I could do it. So we just, while we were at Hobby Lobby, we bought all the flowers that were, all the flowers that we bought or all of the pieces for this arrangement were on sale. And it worked perfectly, but I can tell you, had I bought one of hers, I think I would have made off cheaper, <laughs> even though all of this was on sale, but that's okay. I absolutely love the way that it looks. I love the height that it gives. Um, it is very, very sturdy. And if it gets super, super windy, I'll be concerned about it falling over, but for the most part, it's very sturdy and I think it's, I think it's good. Um, so I love the way that turned out. It is actually on a black metal and wood planter that is super cute. Look, it still has the price tag on it. I need to cut that off, but I got it for $19 and it's so cute and it fits perfectly here. This front porch is kind of a really odd shape and it's just like, it's very small and there's just little nooks and crannies, so to speak. To fill up so you'll see what I mean as I show you the rest of this okay so we bought this for 20 bucks yesterday the planter this is a sign that I got at Target uh, three four years ago I thought it would be perfect to bring out here I used it inside multiple years but I feel like it was time to bring it out here this This pumpkin garland is one of my favorite garlands and I bought it at Kirkland's two years ago and I love it. But we needed something to kind of fill the space over here and so I brought it out. Um, I'm debating on buying something else so that I can take this back inside and put, put it on my mantle this year because that's what I've done with it in the past. It's like a $60 garland that I did get on sale, but still. Um, and it does look super, super cute, but I'm just not 100% sure I wanna keep it out here. I may switch it out. This lantern is a lantern that we have. We've got a pair of these. Um, I have both of those out here. I'll show you how I incorporated them. That one is from uh, At Home and we've had it, we bought it last summer, so it's cute. Um, the little bell of hay I got at Kirkland, or not Kirkland's, at Hobby Lobby yesterday. This little mailbox is one that a friend gave me about a year ago. I love it, but I've not really been able to find the perfect use for it, and it fit perfectly out here. It's, it's metal. Super cute. Fits perfect. Okay. Floor mat. And this I've been using since the end of July. Kept it out here. It fits perfect. Works perfect for what we're doing here. Um, so happy that I could still use that and repurpose it. Here is the other, uh, white lantern. Love it there. 
I guess I really maybe have closer to 60% stuff that I'm repurposing out here. This is something that one of my aunts, my mom's twin sister, bought me two Thanksgivings ago. And it was the container. She got it at a at an antique shop and then it also came with all of this inside. I've usually put it on my uh, hearth in front of my fireplace, but I thought it was perfect out here for this. So when you walk up, you'll kind of, I'll show you how you'll kind of see it when you're walking up the steps. Um, this is a reused uh, plaque for that I got for $3 probably three or four years ago from um, the Target spot. So. This is from Hobby Lobby. Love it. There's one of those pumpkins again. This leaf garland, regularly $11.99. Got it yesterday on sale for 40% off right now. Hobby Lobby, all their fall stuff is 40% uh, off. So that fit perfect. And I may go get another one of those to put over here on this other side with the white pumpkin. This came from our garage. I think, I don't know where we got this actually. It lights up. This side has that on it, but I turned it this way. So just stuck it there, kind of in that little nook there. Um, this is something that my aunt gave me and it fits perfect out here. It's not wood and it's not, I don't know what it's made out of. It's not paper mache, um, I don't think. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's really cute and actually, on this side it says be joyful but I turned it this way these little leaves are uh, metal this is a gourd that I got from Hobby Lobby this is from Hobby Lobby and the sign and actually these uh, I needed something that would give us a little bit of height and these little wooden buckets were on sale for 40% off and they fit perfect. All of that just fits perfectly in there. This came from Hobby Lobby yesterday. I want to say it was 30 and we got it for 40% off. So that was perfect. And it's a, it's a very unique shape. It's like skinny and long, kind of oblong, I guess I would say. And see, there's that up there. And then what I really, really wanted was one of these trees that is spiral shaped. I love it. It fits perfect there and we bought the gold planter to go with it and then we put a piece of that foamy uh, flower, floral stuff down in there to kind of give it some height. This gold planter was on sale for 13. The tree was 129 but it was on sale for 50% off so we got it for $60 so that was really nice. Um, I guess we got it for 65 and then I bought these they are, look, I still have the price tag on that, but they have these sticks on them, the stems, and they just, you just poke them right down in here. We put three on there, as you can see. There's the other one. So here's how all this looks together. I'm not objectionable to finding something else to sit right here, maybe another plant or something. And then I love this. I got this at Hobby Lobby as well. I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. So my husband drilled a thing for me and we hung it there. Look, another price tag. I need to take them off. All right guys, I would love to know what is your favorite place or where is your favorite place to get your fall decor for your front porch and how did you decorate your porch for fall this year? All right. Like and subscribe below. Bye guys. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least to stay alive